Throw us into the edge. A local high school teacher was found murdered in his home. To make them do the unthinkable. When he was discovered, he was panicked. I'm not going to jail for you. We committed a crime. <laughs> They're looking for witnesses. There's always a motive, and I'm going to find it. And that is just a taste of what you can expect this Sunday night when the new CTV original crime drama Motive hits the small screen after the Super Bowl. Joining us now are two of the show stars, Lauren Hawley and Kristen Lee. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. To talk about this. Pretty fast paced, very intense at times. And unlike what I, ex I when I sat down to watch it, I thought, it's a whodunit. Except it starts by telling you who done it. <laughs> Very yes. different way of starting in a, in a crime drama like that. Yeah, our um, our fantastic producers have been calling it a why done it, yeah. <laughs> as opposed to a who done it. Hence the name of the show. That's so you right. play Angie, the lead detective. I do. I play Angie Flynn, who is uh, um, a woman who really, really lives by her instincts and um, doesn't always think things through all the time. So, uh, but it. It works out for her all the time. <laughs> and you play a medical examiner. Yes, Dr. With a twist. Betty. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Betty. Dr. Betty. And it's not when you look at the, you know, um, the medical examiners in different crimes, like going back to Jack Klugman or, you know, one of those kind of things. Serious, you know, usually they mm -hmm. are because they're dealing with autopsies and bodies. And you see, you've got an attitude, though. Yeah, Betty is uh, definitely a little spicy, has a wicked sense of humor, and I think a very active nightlife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, that's a tease to forward shows because I've only seen the what mm -hmm. the open. Maybe it could be. You never know. Got she it. She's a lovely selection of fantastic shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we were saying off camera. We don't have this clip, but we're saying off camera. One of the the clips that I just I got a kick out of was you're called to the murder scene. You call the medical examiner. She has to go to examine the body or mm -hmm. take a look at the the mm -hmm. crime scene itself. And you come up the stairs and there's a man standing there. A quite good looking young police officer and you say uh, we'll see now I'm I have to have the line perfectly or okay, I don't oh, tell sure. it because I'm not <laughs> but it's basically I just remark something about that there's a body and I see that that's correct <laughs> <laughs> and when you said that I thought okay this is good yeah you also play a mom yes in it I have a teenage son yes and you come into a what could have been an otherwise compromising situation for any moms that would walk in on their son and a girlfriend. Right, finding my son partially clad with a, with a nubile young thing. Yeah, it was, um, that's what really drew me to the role is that Angie's a, a working mom and she was a young mom. Yeah. And that relationship where um, she has raised her son to the best of her abilities and she's proud of how she's raised her son, but he has also helped raise her. And so I think that influences the kind of camaraderie that they have. It was exactly <coughs> the, it, not at all the reaction that, you, you know, might have been written into another script. You come in and you're like, okay, come on, get dressed. Like, well, exactly. You know. <laughs> but I also think some of her response of, you know, really, come on, why am I having to deal with this, is more about how she deals with the fact that she's not equipped mm -hmm. to totally face the things that her teen son is starting to enact in their house. So I think um, her ability to kind of stay cool in all situations or hope to stay cool is really an act. And inside, she's freaking out. What do you think it is about crime dramas that we can't get enough of? I mean, there's so many out there. This is, this is different, and very different in, in its approach. But we are dealing with the murder, and we still, you know, in real life, we would find it abhorrent. When we watch these crime dramas, we just get absorbed. What is it about them, do you think? I think it's happy endings. And the good guy wins. Yeah. You know, you get the bad guy and whatever. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's what makes this show interesting because the resolution isn't always there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the thing that's great about the why done it aspect and the fact that the audiences know who the killer and the victims are is it really challenges viewers to, um, you know, figure out what their preconceived notions are about murder mm -hmm. or about a, ter a terrible lapse in judgment. And then what I wasn't expecting to feel as much of, but I feel so much in our show, is that I feel a lot of compassion for the killers. I feel really moved. Yeah, by I mean, sometimes it's just one decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That a seemingly, you know, law-abiding citizen. Split-second mm -hmm. situation. Because the, the um, I guess the killer in this 
in this case, and he's he's a brilliant actor as well. He's not your cold-blooded, emotionless guy. No. He's, there's, they build layers on him yeah, so that yeah. you actually do get invested in his character. Yeah, absolutely. we have some great guest stars. Yeah, really and good. I think actors, <clears throat> from what they've said to us, are really excited to do our show as guest stars because they really have a strong and complete arc mm -hmm. that where they want to delve into the decisions for, of someone who's now facing, you know, a life-changing event they've taken in their life and how that affects them, is really. Um, it's a great thing for them mm -hmm. to get to play on our show. When you were kids, did, in, in all the times that you were asked, what did you want to be when you grew up, and maybe it was always acting for the two of you, but did you ever say, did you ever say a police officer? I did not. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I did not ever say a police officer. But that's the great thing about acting, is that you get to inhabit these lives yeah. that you otherwise might have had or mm -hmm. could never have imagined for yourself. Can you actually imagine being a medical examiner? Like, tough job. Yeah, uh, no. It's fascinating, <laughs> but I'm not sure I could handle it, really. Yeah. And how do you handle all of this? Because shooting on a busy schedule, both of your moms, um, you have a four-year-old. I have a four-year-old. And you have old. three children. Mm -hmm. And you're commuting back and forth from Toronto, Vancouver. I am. So how do you manage it all? I, uh, well, first of all, she's our star. She's our lead. She's there day in and day out yeah. every scene. She's got the tough job. <laughs> um, they are very nice to me. They put my stuff together and I manage to go back and forth and I'm not away from my boys too much and it's kind of perfect. It's just a few months a year and they come with me. Um, this week, great. all four of us are going together. Awesome. So, okay. Yeah. So you hinted that there might be some romance in the future for you. For you? No. <gasps> what? No. Oh, come on. Too no busy. Romance. Too Busy no. solving crime. I, I just think um, <laughs> Angie knows where her strengths are, and, and relationships yeah. are not one of them. <laughs> so she stays clear. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, our pleasure. Today. Congratulations yeah. on the series. Thank, Thank you. you. Motive premieres this Sunday on CTV following the Super Bowl. Its regular time slot will be Sundays at 8 o'clock. That's Eastern or 7 Pacific. Check ctv.ca for your local listings.